Okay. All right. This is question number 13. I know it looks like a B. This is, uh, let's see, this is geometry uh, test one through 35 review part two. Uh, so they're going to give you a picture. It's going to look uh, kind of funny. It's going to look something like this. Uh, probably like that. It doesn't necessarily, uh, well, hold on. We'll take this out a little bit further so that they look pretty similar. Okay, something like that. All right, they're going to show you that we've got, let's say, 60 degrees here. Um, let's see, we've got, here's a, like a point O. We'll go ahead and give labels to the rest of this. We'll call this D, C, um, A and B at the bottom. Okay, we'll give some measurements in here. We'll call this uh, 24 here. We'll call this 40 here. Um, let's see, let's call this 40 and call this 24. The question is B, or the question will be something along the lines that pilot uses triangles to find the angle of elevation, which would be angle A, okay, right here. Angle of elevation from the ground to her plane. How can she find angle A? Okay, so we want to know how to find that angle. And one of the things that you ought to notice is that notice how this line right here, A, A O, and C O, right? Those are the same length, correct? All right, notice also that B O and D O are the same length, correct? Okay, so we got something like that. All right, then I ought to notice that. Angle DOC and angle BOA are vertical angles. What do we know about vertical angles? Vertical angles are congruent, so you got to know that. So now what I can say is that triangle AOB is congruent to triangle COD, okay, through side angle side congruency theorem. Does that make sense? Now that I know that, then I know that angle A is congruent to angle C because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Okay, so the answer to this is if you're watching this and you haven't had this in class is you need to listen to the explanation. Okay, you can't just watch it and get everything that you need out of that. Okay, you need to listen to it. So do we understand our answer of how we get A is 60 degrees? Okay, it's not enough to say A equals 60 degrees. I've got to know how, why. Okay, you follow me? Jarrett, were you able to get your stuff to work? Okay, great. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, let's look at the next one, number 14. Some of these take a while just because. Uh, so you got two people, they start driving from the same location. Um, we got Steve and Ann. Steve and Ann, they start driving from the same location. Okay. Um, Harry, he's going to drive 21 miles due south. Okay. Now, it's going to state all of this, but it's not going to draw any pictures. So, from this location, I'm going to have Steve going 21 miles due south. Does that make sense? Yes or no? Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. I want to change the number here. Let's make that uh, 42. 42 miles due south. Okay. Uh, then Ann is going to drive, uh, let's say, 144 miles west. Okay. So she's going 144 miles west. Okay. Our question is, is how far apart are they when they stop? Okay, keep in mind, he stopped right here. She stopped right here. How can I find out how far apart they are? Well, what kind of line represents the distance? The hypotenuse, all right, and it's here. Let's just say he's just there. All right, so I've got 42 squared plus 144 squared equals C squared. Does that make sense? OK, 
okay, and solve for C. Can you guys do that? Okay, so it's you won't get a picture or anything like that, but you'll get that kind of information. Okay, 15. Okay, this is where you get the John to Jason to Julie question. You guys have had this in class. Okay, or you guys remember what I'm talking about? So basically what we're saying is we've got John, we got Julie, we got Jason. Let's say we know that John and Julie are 25 feet apart. So here's John, here's Julie, and I know that this distance between them is 25 feet. Then it may say something along the lines of the angle from Jason to John to Julie is 23 degrees. And the angle from John to Julie to Jason is 26 degrees. Okay? Is this a unique triangle? The answer is yes, but it's going to say, how so? Well, it's an angle side angle. Okay? It's unique by its angle, its side, and its angle. 